This has saved me hours of game development time in Unity. Check out our Discord in the description below, and if you stick to the end, you'll get to hear my cringy voice acting. This video is sponsored by Walling, but more on that in a bit. In some of my previous devlogs, I mentioned that a major limiting factor for the development of my game Muster has been the manual toil that is required to create a bunch of different NPCs and enemies. Generally, most of the NPCs have the same rough shape shape, and animation workflow, but creating separate animations, animators, and game objects for each variation manually was proving to take a really long time. Side note, I get most of my art assets from Final Boss Blues. He is an amazing pixel artist, he is a Patreon, and takes commissions, so definitely check him out. But basically, I realized I needed a tool that could streamline the creation of NPCs. NPCs, I've been saying it a lot, just in case you don't know, is non-player character, non-playable character. So all of those little guys you see running around video games. After finally feeling more comfortable with Unity, I decided to take a stab at it. So I developed this NPC tool maker, which essentially will look through various sprite folders. Assuming the sprites are separated into individual frames, I then can put a name in for the NPC as well as a default dialogue option. This way you will be able to talk to all NPCs regardless of if they have a quest for you or not. You can also check whether the NPC is a quest giver or for combat. This distinction basically just changes which components or mono behaviors are added to the game object. If you check the quest giver, it will add the associated quest giver component and logic, and if it's a combat NPC, it will add the combat scripts and weapon prefabs, etc. And the really cool thing about this is that it'll go through and create the animations from the individual sprites based on what sprites you have in the folders. Then it will create an animator override controller so that it can reuse the same base animation states as other NPCs. It'll then add all of the other components like colliders, rigid bodies, interactable zones, and the associated quest giver or combat components. And once it has done all of that, it'll spit out a new prefab in its own folder so that everything is organized. This way I can create fun characters way, way faster, and literally saving hours and hours of manual animation and game object creation. I'm looking to expand this more so that it can be more efficient, so if you have suggestions, please comment them down below. Some other small stuff I've been working on is the dialogue system, basically creating a universal dialogue manager instead of each NPC having to deal with its own dialogue and UI. Because if you think about it, the player can really only talk to or interact with one NPC at a time. I also added loot tables and XP points that kind of explode from enemies. I'm also currently working on the gathering system for quests and world items, as well as regular bug fixes that are all too apparent. One last thing I learned recently that I think would be useful to share or at least I hope it is, is that I was listening to the Acquired podcast, which essentially is a podcast about the history and rise of different companies. I'm not affiliated with them at all, but the episode I was listening to was about Epic Games, the creators of obviously Fortnite, the Epic Game Store, as well as the Unreal Engine, which I actually didn't know until I heard it on the podcast. And the host mentioned something that I think Jeff Bezos said about building on primitives, which are essentially reusable components such that you don't need to start from scratch every time you make something new. And the host basically tied this to what Epic Games and their CEO, Tim Sweeney, had focused on for years, creating the ecosystem and tools aka primitives, such that every time they were working on a new game or project, they didn't need to start from scratch, and hence the Unreal Engine came to be. And this got me thinking about ways to optimize my game development time and maybe your game development time by building primitives, and then using those primitives to build the game. And fortunately, Unity is all about primitives. I mean, that's the basis of basically their whole prefab, scriptable object, and mono behavior system. Create an object or script once, and now you can add them to your game anywhere. Imagine having to manually add a collider to every copy-pasted tree. So that's where I feel I am in my game development journey, building primitives. Basically, I'm writing scripts, adding systems, creating tools, and prefabs that generally have no visual impact on the game, 
game, but will allow me in the future to create content in a much more streamlined fashion. Comment down below what are some of your favorite Unity tools that either you've bought or downloaded or you've implemented yourself. I'm always looking for more Unity productivity hacks. I actually get a lot of comments about tools to help organize the game development and game design workflow, and that's where this video sponsor might help, Walling. Walling is a visual tool to handle all your ideas and projects. You can use it to easily collect and organize your plans and ideas for your future game or your current game. And you only have to use one wall where you can combine your game brief, character information, quests, and even code blocks. Plus you can add tasks and collaborate with teammates in real time. Walling is also just very visually appealing and really clean. If you're anything like me, you'll have scattered notebooks everywhere with half thought out ideas and random math on the pages. But with Walling, you can keep everything organized and available everywhere and has a ton of baked in functionality. It's also completely free to sign up. Walling helps bring clarity to your work, whatever it may be, and just keep everything organized. And keeping everything organized will ultimately help you get work done faster and just generally work more efficiently. Visit walling.app to create a free account and start organizing your ideas and projects. You can also find the link in the description below. Thank you to Walling for supporting the channel. Thanks for tuning into this devlog. As always, check out our Discord and the rest of my socials in the description below. And let me know if you have any suggestions for the game or learning game development overall. Thanks for sticking to the end. So here is my cringy voice acting demo. Oh, hey, sorry, I didn't see you there. I'm new here. I'm supposed to be going to class 1A. Do you know where that is? I just keep getting lost. Oh no, that's the bell. I'm gonna be late. Sorry to bother you. Wait, I still don't know where the room is. Thank you guys so much for watching again. My name is Michael. We make college advice, career advice, tech, game development, computer science type videos, programming, all sorts of good stuff. If any of that sounds interesting, consider subscribing to the channel. Like this video to help your boy out with the YouTube algorithm. We do bad British accents at the end of every video. Check out one of my past videos and my past self would thank you dearly. And check out one of my future videos and my future self would also thank you dearly. That's all for me. Hopefully I see you in another one. Bye-bye.